Hello everyone and welcome. We are in the Campania V13R and you're not going to really hear much once I start this, so it's probably just going to be a voiceover. Let's go have some fun. Uh, it's kind of a cool car. There's definitely some things I would change though. and We'll talk about this with the voiceover, but we found a good road, so we're going to go hopefully tear it up. Now I had the privilege and opportunity to test both the V13R and the T-Rex, and I will say one stood out as significantly more appealing. First, let's get a general idea of what these cars are. The V13R is an open top, two seater with three wheels driven by the single rear wheel. The vehicle weighs approximately 1,150 pounds and its 1250cc V-twin engine pumps out 122 horsepower. As far as the driving experience, visceral is certainly an applicable word. The V13R features a throttle cable, one of few old school features which I wish was more common in modern day sports cars. Throttle response is immediate and exceptional, with very few of today's modern vehicles even coming close. Though the braking distance doesn't seem to be particularly amazing, the braking feel is good. There's a manual 5-speed transmission with a sequential style shifter. I found it fun to use and simple to shift gears once you got the hang of it. Each gear seemed to provide ample torque, and regardless of what speed you're traveling at, it felt like you were moving quite quickly. Confidently and proudly going around a corner, I thought to myself I was flying while looking at the speedometer and realizing I was only traveling 40 miles an hour. Unfortunately for the V13R, that's where my compliments end. It's certainly fun, but there are a healthy amount of tweaks I'd like to see made if one of these were to end up in my own garage. First off, there's nowhere to rest your left foot. You have to simply hover it above the clutch pedal or find some way to jam it in an uncomfortable position so you can rest that leg. Speaking of the clutch, determining the biting point proved challenging and first gear was far taller than I would have preferred which led to frequent stalls. The remedy was either doing a burnout or burning the clutch as you had to get up to a significant speed before letting the clutch out in order to prevent stalling. Speaking of gearing, there's no display informing you of what gear you're in. While it's not all that challenging to count to five, I feel it'd be a nice addition, especially when you've been upshifting and downshifting on a canyon road and you're not quite certain which gear you're in. The speedometer and tachometer location is also not ideal. The gauges are fairly small and difficult to read, and your right hand ends up covering the entire tachometer, so you have to lean your head over to read what the engine speed is. I'm not quite sure why it isn't placed directly behind the steering wheel, as is the case with nearly all road cars. As far as visibility, there's a large blind spot to your right rear, making right lane mergers a bit sketchy. The noise is tremendously loud from both wind and the engine. From someone coming from a motorcycle, this may not be an issue, but coming from a car is a bit different. While all of this may sound a bit harsh in regards to the V13R, the T-Rex addresses the vast majority of these concerns. There's a location for your left foot, first gear is shorter and allows for crawling at lower speeds, the gauges all sit neatly in front of the driver, easy to read, the six-speed sequential informs you of which gear you're in, visibility is still a challenge, and the driver's area is a bit cramped, but overall it was a far more enjoyable experience for me to drive. I felt connected, in complete control. The T-Rex will easily break traction of the rear wheel with your right foot planted, and there are no aids to prevent this. In this regard, it's a driver's car and it rewards those who push its limits. I couldn't help but find myself smiling as I carved through some twisty roads. The only thing I found myself not completely thrilled with, surprisingly, was the steering. I'm generally a fan of manual steering, but there was something slightly off about this setup. There was sort of a dead range where you could move the steering wheel back and forth without anything happening, which removed a bit of the feel. Whatever angle you had the steering wheel at, there'd be a small amount of movement that was allowed without impacting the wheel's direction. Aside from this, the driving experience was quite enjoyable. I loved the peppy engine, the sound from a BMW sourced 1.6 liter inline 6 cylinder, yes, you've heard correctly, screaming past 8,000 RPM. Potent, lightweight, and fun. 160 horsepower and only weighing about 1,150 pounds. Now there is a bit of an elephant in the room, and that is the vehicle's price. The V13R starts at 54,000, easily hitting 60k with options, and the T-Rex starts at 58,000 fully loaded, exceeding 70 k in the top trim level. That's certainly a lot of cash for a weekend toy, especially considering the other vehicles available in this price range. I had a blast in the T-Rex, experiencing it in an environment it was made for. I hope you have all enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.